this book about Hanukkah also celebrates Christmas. Keep watching if you're confused and find out what book we're talking about today. Hi, my name is Kyla Denagno and welcome to Kyla's Reading Day. Today we're talking about the book, The Matzo Ball. This book was written by Jean Meltzer. The genre of the book is fiction. The theme of the book is romantic comedy holiday. So if you're confused, <laughs> we are talking all about a Christmas book called The Matzo Ball. Yes. So it's only right that I wear my so many books, so little time shirt with this book because this book is all about writers. I've been reading a lot of books that are about writers, authors, journalists. It's, it's kind of interesting. <laughs> I guess writers like to write about writers. But in the matzo ball, this book made me so anxious. And so the big plot twist of the book is don't keep secrets. Be celebrated for who you are and when you keep a secret, people don't know what's going on and they can't give you your flowers. They cannot celebrate you. They can't heap upon you all of the love and honor and respect that you deserve for all of these big deeds, right? Keep the blood pressure low. Don't keep secrets. <laughs> That's the big plot twist. But this book was absolutely adorable. I love that Rachel was so obsessed with Christmas. I mean like Christmas trees, train sets, big Santas everywhere, right? Like, hold on. We love you, Rachel, and we love that you love Christmas. <laughs> Boom, this is in tribute to Rachel because Rachel loves Christmas. So not keeping secrets is a really important part of the book because you have to stand in what you do. You have to wear it on your chest. You have to own up to it. I like Christmas. I might be Jewish, but I still love Christmas. <laughs> she loves Christmas. She has written multiple, 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 I mean like more than 15 novels about Christmas and she can't tell anybody about it because she's the daughter of a famous rabbi and she doesn't want her family to disown her. So really cute story. You got all of your classic romantic themes. You got your miscommunication. You got people coming back together, but underneath it all is this huge secret. Don't keep secrets. Don't keep secrets when it comes to your career. Let the people know so that you can be celebrated when it's time, okay? Tell everybody that you're watching this. Hey, have you seen Kyla's reading day? Go and celebrate her, go share, go share. <laughs> so would I reread this book? Yes. When I tell you this is a very fun read, it's really casual, it's really light, you're flipping through, you know, you got the best friend who's funny. A book that you could definitely read more than once. A book that, of course, I wanna see turned into a movie. Hello, Hallmark Channel, let's do it, okay? So yeah, I definitely would reread this book because it was adorable and you can read it at any time. So that was today's review of the book, The Matzo Ball. Leave me a comment, let me know. Do you really enjoy Christmas? Have you ever had matzo ball soup? Have you ever been to a matzo ball? Uh -huh. You see what I did there? I didn't do it. She did it. The matzo ball, which is a gala, but also matzo ball soup. She started it. I'm just finishing it, right? And in honor of Rachel, the writer in the book, I'm wearing my Christmas earrings. <laughs> so leave a comment. Let me know what's going on. And I will see you next time on Kyla's Reading Day. Bye.